What's going on guys? This video today is gonna be sponsored by Prism Lens Effects and that's what we're gonna be talking about within this video today. Let's get into it. So for y'all out there who have no idea what Prism Lens Effects is, I'm gonna get y'all hit because they're doing some revolutionary stuff in this filmmaking world right now, I'm telling you. So for starters, Prism Lens Effects is a company centered around creating lens effects. <laughs> As crazy as that sounds, ironic as that sounds. They're centered around creating tools, filters, products, things that help you create effects within camera. Me, I love creating effects within cameras. I think that it just speeds up the process of creating. You don't have to add these effects in post. Everything just goes faster. You don't have to think about it as much as if you were to have to go into post and add in flares and all that other stuff. It's simple, I like the concept of it. So when these guys hit me up, they wanted me to try out their Prism Pro Pack. I was like, yes, let's do it. I love in-camera effects, let's get it. But beyond that, they have tons of other products to help you create really dope effects in camera for photography and video. Check them out, I'll leave a link in the description. There's gonna be a lot of other things other than what I'm talking about today in this video. I'm just scratching the surface right now. So a little bit about the company before we actually get into the product. One thing that really drew me to this company were the founders. Two really amazing filmmakers, one of which actually both inspired me tremendously, Jacob Owens, revolutionary entrepreneur, YouTuber, filmmaker, music video director, all the above. He's greatly inspired my journey and what I do today. Tom Taher, really amazing cinematographer and DP as well, man. And too often we see these really big corporations with this one person at the head of it who isn't actually really even into what they're selling. The fact that these two guys are actually filmmakers and they create the sort of content that I create makes it so much better and makes me want to actually get into what they're creating. They know what they want, they know what quality is, and I like that. They're in a really small warehouse in LA. It's right here in the United States. This stuff is not getting mass produced. They're checking over everything that's going through these assembly lines. They're testing them. The quality control here on these products is gonna be A1, so. So what we're gonna be talking about today is the Prism Pro Pack, which is a pack of Prism filters that are used to create really stylistic and dope effects in camera for foreground items. So what comes within this Prism Pro Pack is two prisms, one of which is a typical triangle prism. This is gonna be like the typical prism that you're gonna see in your mind when someone says prism. It's just like a long pyramid. We also have an ore prism, and this one is a lot different than the regular prism. This isn't the one that you're gonna see in your mind when you hear prism. So this is dope, and it's kind of different than pretty much any typical prism that you're gonna think about. So we got two prisms, we also have two ways to use these prisms. One of which is a grip, which is awesome if you just want to use the prism right in front of the camera, hold it yourself and move it around. This is gonna be really dope if you wanna move your effect around and kinda add some movement within the effect while you're shooting. And the second way that you're gonna be able to mount and use these prisms that comes within this pack is an articulating arm. Now this right here is the game changer for me. I'm no real stranger to getting in-camera effects. I use a ton of things in front of a camera lens. But the problem that I have with this method that I always do is it's no mounting options to put these things in front of the camera. When using these effects, you have to pretty much always use one of your hands or you have to have someone off of camera using their hand to put this thing in front of the lens. And the problem with this is if you're the person who's using your hand to put this in front of the lens, you don't have a hand free to focus or just uh, zoom on the lens of a shot. And for me, I film music videos, I film a lot of moving subjects. I have to have my hand there to adjust the focus at any given time. So this is my biggest problem with using any other item other than what I'm gonna be talking about today. This articulating arm is awesome because on each side of it is two quarter 20 screws and on the bottom of each one of these prisms that I'm going to be showing you guys is a quarter 20 thread so you can mount this on pretty much anything that has a quarter 20 screw or place to mount a quarter 20 screw you can use this articulating arm because it has two quarter 20 screws on each side so this is really dope this is what's really game changing about this pack right here and aside from the prisms and the two mounting options you also get a really big microfiber cloth as well I had a shoot this weekend I had these prisms I wanted to use them on the shoot I wanted to get some really dope stuff. I wanted to see what the experience was like actually using these prisms on a set in a controlled environment where it was a lot going on. How convenient was the mounting options and what did the footage looks like. Everything that you're gonna be seeing from this particular music video shoot was shot using the triangle prism option. I have some other shots that I'm gonna be throwing intertwined in this as well with the ore prism, but keep in mind for this music video, all of this stuff was shot with the triangle prism. And that was because I wanted to keep the look consistent throughout the music video. So filming with this was a breeze. It was everything that I thought it would be. Most of the time for me when I was using this throughout this music video shoot, I was using a quarter 20 thread on the side of my tripod to use the articulating arm to place the prism out in front of the lens. And if I wasn't doing that, I was just shooting handheld and I had the articulating arm coming out of the bottom of the camera. The mounting and positioning of the prism
prism is flawless. It stays, it holds. It's not like it's gonna fall while you're shooting. The way that this stuff is put together is really quality, honestly. This was actually my first time ever using a prism as a foreground item for effects in a video. And the effects after I saw them were so unique. When using a prism as a foreground item for music videos, it picks up reflections from other places in a shot. And it's really up to you to adjust it and figure out what reflection from elsewhere you want to pick up and put in your shot. So for me, sometimes I was getting shots of the sky, I was getting shots of the ground, the artist's shoes, the artist's legs, just stuff off of camera and off of frame that wasn't there, I was able to actually implement into the shot using this effect from the prism. I really enjoyed it, honestly. Like my experience using this, the effects that I got, everything about it was really dope. The one thing that I noticed about the difference within the two prisms is the triangle pyramid one kind of produced a look that was way different than the orb. They they have two different fills, which I feel is really dope, um, honestly, because they come in a pack. So you're kind of getting two different fills and effects within this pack. So for me, I feel like the triangle pyramid one would match more so better with the records where I have more hype, more energy, where I'm shooting these music videos and I need more of a turn up look. But I feel like the orb created more of a softer, more glamorous look. And I would use that on like my projects where I was trying to pull a little bit more emotion or I was trying to get like a soft, lovey type of vibe with it. So, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to take you guys over to Prism Lens Effects website. You can check them out on Instagram as well. They're cooking up a lot of new stuff, man. Like I said, I'm really just scratching the surface. They have a lens filter uh, pack that they just announced, which can give you guys some really dope anamorphic flares and stuff in your footage. They have a really dope cue. It's, it's a bunch of stuff, man. So make sure you guys check out the website, check them out on Instagram. I'll leave all those links down in the description. One thing that I would love for you guys to do for me, man, is to go down to the comment section and let me know which prism produced the best look for you. Like which one did you prefer more? Cause I think they're both dope, honestly. I, like I said, I think it's really dope that you get two different effects you get really two different looks uh, but let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop it a like comment also subscribe to the channel if you're new here peace out guys